Disclaimer, no UGA students were harmed in the making of this video. Georgia Tech is renowned for its legacy of being the best university in Georgia. Tech students continue to lead the way in every field, except literal fields. Those UGA students can figure out turf management. It is our job, nay, our duty, as affiliates of the Superior Institute to do whatever we can do to be prepared to respond to lab emergencies and offer our knowledge and expertise to those in need. Meet UGA's valedictorian, Mary Ann, here trying to pass chemistry lab for the fourth time. Let's observe her in the lab. Oh, oh no, I spilled it all over me. I don't know what to do. Somebody help. It's okay, it's okay, accidents happen, but it's important to know how to respond during emergencies to lessen disastrous effects. We need to wash your hands for 15 minutes. 15 minutes? How many is that? It's okay, I'll count for you. Let's go to the sink. Okay. You know, if you've been wearing the gloves, this wouldn't have happened. Has it been 15 minutes yet? Not yet, keep going. Have someone call GT Police to report the accident. Make sure the victim washes their hands with soap for 15 minutes. If the victim knows what chemical they were exposed to, four copies of the SDS sheet for that chemical need to be printed out. Well, thanks to our kind tech student, Alexis, Marianne now knows how to respond if she spills chemicals on her hands, but she still has more to learn. Again, but as long as you know how to respond, everything's going to be fine. We need to wash your eyes out for 15 minutes. 15? Again? 15 again. Come on, let's go to the eye wash. You know, if you're wearing lab goggles, this wouldn't have happened. No, no, not the sink, the eye wash. Oh! And don't okay. forget to take off your gloves. While washing out your eyes, make sure to pull back your eyelids to fully rinse your eyes. If you are helping the victim while they are rinsing their eyes out for 15 minutes, call GT Police for help because the victim must receive medical attention. If you are helping the victim, find out what chemical they were splashed with if possible and print out four copies of the SDS sheet for that chemical. Marianne has learned a lot about how to respond to emergency situations in the lab, but she still has one more lesson to learn. Let the dogs out. Ooh. Oh! Oh no! It's on me! I don't know what to do again! Help! It's okay. Accidents sure happen to you a lot. My shirt! It's ruined! Your shirt? What about your skin? You know, if you'd worn a lab coat, this wouldn't have happened. What do I do? We need to go to the safety shower. Okay. Wait, wait. You need to take your clothes off first and then shower for 15 minutes. Will you count for me? I'll count for you. Make sure the shower lasts for 15 minutes. Once again, call GT Police so that the victim receives proper medical attention. If you are helping the victim, find out what chemical they were splashed with if possible and print out four copies of the SDS sheet for that chemical. Wow, you tech students sure do know a lot about how to respond to emergencies in the lab. Well, we know it's important to practice proper lab safety and respond to emergencies in the lab. How could we not when we go to the best school in Georgia? Emergency response, another way to be knowledgeable, prepared, and successful. Continue the legacy of Georgia Tech by being the most excellent students in the lab.